she said not now. Hey, good morning. Welcome to uh, Social Media Prayer Time. It's 8.05. Those of you joining us on Speaker Web Radio, I hope you can uh, see the... Uh, it's like a new uh, podcast that I started, created just for Social Media Prayer Time. So I hope you're able to find that okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's join us on Spreecast. Cool. No, I'm not. Don't have... And Anna is talking to the camera. She's not yawning. You can't see her. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hold on. My music's not here. Hallelujah. We are just so glad that you are here. Thank you for joining us. God bless you this morning. We go before the Lord in prayer. Sorry I'm leaning so close to you, camera. I got to get my sound music up. I find that it's just something about having music to pray, and uh, I'm very grateful. We had uh, this psalmist lady share a, she sings and just plays by the Holy Spirit on the piano, and uh, she sent uh, Dave and me something yesterday on Facebook, and it was so pretty. It was pretty. It was 30 minutes long, though, so I can't really play it here. No. You could probably do a you could you could edit it and cut it. Yeah, we but it's meant, it's meant to flow. I think she wants it to flow. So anyway, it's just a suggestion. It's just well, my all head looks like an oval in this camera. Shh, don't do that. Don't, sorry. Who cares? I'm it's sorry. not about us. I know. So, okay. so we're okay on the mic. Just the camera quality is like really bad. Not that it matters, but... Okay, do so you think that's a problem? Maybe that's why we're mumbling, because her microphone is No, not it's, yeah, my, my normal mic and camera isn't working. Praise right. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, you can get I'm going to read the message. This I want it. Okay, what are you going to read? Psalm so 63 in the message. That's good. Okay. God, you're my God. Mm. I can't get enough of you. I've worked up such hunger and thirst for God, traveling across dry and weary deserts. Mm. So here I am in the place of worship, eyes open, drinking in your strength and glory. In your generous love, I am really living at last. Mm. My lips brim with praises like fountains. I bless you every time I take a breath. My arms wave like banners of praise to you. Mm. I eat my fill of prime rib and gravy. I smack my lips. It's time to shout praises. If I'm sleepless at midnight, I spend the hours in grateful reflection. Because you've always stood up for me, I'm free to run and play. I hold on to you for dear life, and you hold me steady as a post. Mm. Those who are out to get me are marked for doom, marked for death, bound for hell. They'll die violent deaths. Jackals will tear them from limb for limb. But the king is glad in God. His true friends spread joy, joy while small-minded gossips are gagged for good. The message... Wow. Thank you, Father. We come into your presence with giving you praise and thanksgiving, Lord, magnifying your name above all names. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, we can join with those that are joining us live and those joining us recorded and simply enter your courts with praise to say that we long for you, Lord, in a dry and weary land. You are the only one able to satisfy, as Oswald Chambers says, the last aching abyss of a human heart. And that is why you, God, are so severe in, in regard to uh, us and finding that secret place, finding that place hidden in you to draw from living waters. So, Father, we do that even as we join in praise and thanksgiving. We draw from the pure living waters of your word, of the Holy Spirit, of music, those things that cannot be explained. <clears throat> Excuse me. They can't be explained except by a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. They can't be explained except by the Holy Spirit. They can't be explained even in the natural. So, Father, we bless you and praise you. Wow, we just thank you for the many ways to express our love for you. In a song, in a word, in a two-minute encouraging word. Uh, wow, in acts of service to you, Father. 
and simple adoration and praise. So, Father, we bring ourselves to you and lay at your feet spiritually in prayer, saying, Search me and know me, O God. Know my heart and see if there's any hurtful way in me. And as we open ourselves up to the Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord, that as you search us, we can confess, we can be cleansed, part of that living water, knowing that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, that living water that satisfies, that cleanses, that heals. Thank you, Father. We just worship you. You know those that need that reassurance this morning they're, that maybe they're tired or they're distracted or or they're overwhelmed father I pray for my sister Michelle uh, just sending a note that she just was overwhelmed Lord I thank you I know that you rushed to her aid and, and were able to bring your word your Holy Spirit Maybe someone else listening or watching live or recording just could bear witness with that. And so I just thank you, Father, that we don't have to walk in overwhelm. We can walk in your presence and find in the midst of the overwhelm. I'm looking at that camera. And find in the midst of the overwhelm your peace. Oh, thank you, Father. We worship you. We thank you that you're King of kings and Lord of lords. We also thank you that you may be high and lifted up, but you're also a God that gets down on your knee. And you, like Jesus and that woman caught in adultery, you get down in, in, in where we are, and you look up, and you look at us with eyes of love. And you say, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Someone needs that word this morning. Someone needs to know that the Lord Jesus can come right where they are. No pit is so deep that God's love is not deeper still. And look them in the eye by the word, by a song, by even this prayer. And this is the Lord Jesus speaking to you. Go, walk in the forgiveness. Take the rear view mirror out, forgetting those things that lie behind and press on. Someone may have known you from a Sunday school class and they feel like they've gone too far, they've strayed too far this morning. No, God is drawing you even by this presence, even by this voice that you may not have a face for, even by the very music that's playing in the background. And he's drawing you to himself and he wants to love you and hold you it's not just about a God looking up with his pen, waiting for you to mess up to write down. No, he's saying, hey, I, I sent my son Jesus. This is Jesus. I died for you. Greater love has no man than this, than he laid down his life for his friend. And I called you friend. It's been a while, friend, but I'm still here. I still got bucketfuls of love for you. You know who needs that, Father, this morning. I thank you that you can wash over them now. Touch them. Bring them back to you, to the hem of your garden garment. And allow them just to get a good dose of your Holy Spirit. Bathe them. Wash them. Embrace them. And let them know they can stand today and go forward in the fullness of your power. They can say no to the things that have tripped them up. And I don't know who that's for, Lord, but I thank you. It's a, it's, it's a, I just thank you, Lord. Your word just emblazes us, and your word is so real. Yeah, well, I'm just talking to the Lord like I'm talking to you or my, a friend. So, so whoever needs that, Lord, let them know they can talk, they can, they can talk to you just like they're talking to a friend. They may only see four walls, but let them speak. Encourage that heart in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak peace to you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for those that have called in. I pray for Dave. He's in a lot of pain, Lord, and I thank you for touching his body. 
those of you who don't know, is in an accident a couple of, uh, nights, uh, not last night, but the night before, and wow, uh, I just pray you touch his body, Lord, there's some things he's got to do today, um, even in regards to the accident, Lord, I pray for your favor, what the enemy means for harm to this family, I thank you for your favor, I thank you for the victory, I thank you for those that are remembering to pray, and I just thank you for being on the receiving end. There's some really sweet things of friends being there uh, when we call, of our neighbors, precious, precious women giving us food last night. It was so awesome because I was, I had things going on and I wasn't able to cook and Dave was, had some stuff he had to do next door. He, he, we came in and we just, man, we just received. It was awesome, wasn't it? William loves her cooking too, so. <laughs> wow. It's just so awesome. <sighs> wow. Thank you, Father. I just thank you. Sometimes we could be so busy doing stuff that we remember that you want to, we, we have to receive. And open our hands to receive from you. And thank you that we were able to do that in the last few days. It's been beautiful. It's been really beautiful. Thank you, Lord. Bless you and worship you. And Father, we thank you that we can sing this song that going into our prayer time as a song to you. So we worship you, Father. We thank you for your embrace. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for being real, Lord. We thank you for meeting us right where we're at as we lift up this song to sing to you in praise, Lord, in thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Jeremy Riddle with more than a friend. Die. 
For that heart that was listening, and you don't even know why you're listening. That's it. Jesus, you can cry out in that name, wherever you are, you're listening on Speaker World Radio, Jesus to you. He'll bring joy to your soul. Can you hear him? Can you feel his presence? Cry out in the name of Jesus now. Yeah, that's it, Jesus. He'll be more than a friend to you. Thank you, Jesus. That's it. That's it. He is there. Just say the name. And he will be there, Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us for Social Media Prayer Time. God bless you. Hey, tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we invite you to join us around the kitchen table. Well, we'll be around the kitchen table, and you can t join us in a chair on Spreaker Web Radio and join us for Firebrand Table Talk, an encouraging word. From the Word of God to feed you and to nourish you, to love you as you cry out in the name of Jesus. God bless you today. I pray you have a super day. I pray the joy of the Lord will be your strength. In Jesus' name, amen. And those of you, Speaker Web Radio, yes, we are Go Firebrand Table Talk for you. Uh, simulcasting on Spreaker and Spreaker Web Radio. God bless you, and we will pray with you or see you tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States.